We are seizing the means of production today, viewers, as we take a look at the newest title from Deepwater Games, Fantastic Factories. This provided review copy comes to us from designer Joseph Z. Chen, who paired with Justin Faulkner to bring us this engine builder with dice. Deepwater Games, you'll remember, is the same publisher that brought us channel favorite Welcome To, as well as Shadows in Kyoto and the upcoming floor plan, so the pedigree here is strong. We're going to play through this one for you, so let's get it to the table. All right, so this is Fantastic Factories. We are all uh, various factory worker owners. Not necessarily okay. workers. Which we one, Nicholas? We are owners. Thank we you. We own all right. factories. Um, I, I just want to know if I'm smoking a cigar or not. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, aren't you always? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, so the four colored dice that you have in your player color represent the workers that work for you. Uh, mm -hmm. We have some additional frosted white dice that will be used as uh, ancillary or frozen extra workers. workers. Frozen workers. Frozen workers. We unthaw them and yeah. put them into them. Yes, in case you carbonate. Okay. Perfectly. Um, we have contractors, which will give you one-time abilities uh, at the beginning of your uh, market phase. And the blueprints, which are added to the blueprints in your hand, you're going to start out with four of those, and these are... Uh, Can I look the, at them? Yes, you may. Uh, the ones that you're going to build to become part of your tableau to sort of generate your engine to move uh, throughout the game. The object of the game is whoever has the most goods produced in combination with the prestige of their buildings. Mm -hmm. Oh, a prestige. Uh, a yeah. temp agency is not a prestigious Not a prestigious place to work. <laughs> <laughs> not great. All right. You can have it, but nobody's going to be impressed by no, it. No, that checks all right? out. I'm yeah. all in mono trash compactors. Oh, that's my That's my plan. Yeah. All right. Um, so goods and the prestige of your buildings, whoever has the okay. most at the end of the game, will Win. I'm just going to call out this harvester definitely looks like it's made for harvesting people. Okay. Okay. Great. Well, maybe that's I'm what it is. I'm just saying, look at that like the building. The art style is very light. You're and in charge. Sort of bright, so, but look like, at that. That's not harvesting anything that comes from a field. You're for sure darkening this game like right off the bat. Just <laughs> well, like 100%. Hey, just we are the like factory owners. It. We can make what that's we want to make. You can, put, you can use the, the means of production however right. you decide. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, every round has two phases. We're going to start with the market phase. And in the market phase, we're going to be table drafting these cards. Um, you may either uh, gain a blueprint of the face up four that are here. You simply take it, and that's the one that you get. And mm -hmm. it's replaced by a new one off the top of the deck. Or you may discard a card from your hand, a blueprint for card from your hand, with the symbol that matches the contractor that you want to take. So okay. if I wanted this miner, I would have to discard a hammer symbol gotcha. blueprint from my hand. Yeah. And then I would gain. That's a mallet. It's a mallet? Yeah. What's Let's get into this. Okay. What is the exact difference between a mallet and a hammer? Look, mallet this has, has rubber on it. It has like the whole thing. It's like both sides are for are for smacking. <laughs> <laughs> there is no claw end. Oh, so like there a is hammer no claw end. is only like functionally smacking on one, one end, end. Yes, whereas and the a mallet other side is the claw end. But we yes. also can't There's be sure like a... that this is not a wooden gavel. Sure, that's, that's true. true. It could be I'd a gavel. like to take a, a gavel. minor. Right. What about so like a ball peen hammer? Oh is my smacking god! Smacking on the other end. What? No, there's still only smacking on one end. No. There's a, like the pointy Different end. Smacking. I know what you're talking there's about. Like a flat oh. end yeah. And like a ball end. Yeah. So that is still only smacking on one. <laughs> no, end. you definitely smack. Anyway, it's I time. feel like we need to move this on. This is a mallet. <laughs> this is obviously a mallet. Okay, I'll call it a mallet for okay. now. I apologize. Thank you. I'm going to call it a mallard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where was I? I was explaining the game. Uh, yeah. You discard a mallet yes. card from your hand to the discard pile, and then you will gain the ability on that particular contractor. In this case, you would gain three metal, and then an opponent of your choice would gain one metal. And there okay. are different ones, and you replace those as you go. Um, during the market phase, if you do not like any of these or you want to prevent someone from getting them, you may um, pay either an energy or a metal and discard one row. Not all eight cards, but just one of the two types. All those cards go away and a new one comes out. You can all do right. that um, on your turn in the market phase. Everybody clear? Yep. On market yes. Phase? Great. Then we move on, once everybody has done that in turn order, starting with the first player, we move on to the work phase. Now, the work phase is supposed to be simultaneous. Is Maria going first because she has most recently exploited someone's labor? Yep, that's what this <laughs> token means. 
Anyway, yes. sorry, keep going. Yes. And it's you, Nicholas. It's me. I was yeah. going to say, I was, I was a little hesitant to ask, but there it is. It's you. Um, so the work phase is normally done simultaneous, so everybody at the table does it at the same time. However, for the first couple rounds, uh, we'll do it individually so that everybody kind of gets an idea of how it works. You will roll all four of your workers onto the table. And these represent the, uh, the values that you can trade in to your headquarters for, uh, for benefits. Oh. So you may trade in any die for a blueprint card off the top of the deck. All right. Okay? You cannot choose from one of the face up ones. It must come from the top that's of the deck. That's research. Okay. Yep, that's researching. And any value die gets you one card. Doesn't okay. matter the value of the die that you pulled. Got it? Generate power. You may either uh, invoke a one, two, or three worker value, and you will gain that much energy. All right. So if I were to put a three die here, I would gain three energy. All right. Right? Mining is a four, five, or six die, and regardless of the value, you get one metal. Okay. Okay? So if I were to put a five and a six here, I would get two metal total. Hot commodity. Right? That's how it works. Um, there are, uh, there is bonuses for matching. So if I had two sixes, I would place one of them here, and I would get one metal mm -hmm. for that. If I were to place this here, I would get two metal plus a bonus because they match. Oh. For every matching die, you get one extra. So, right. for example, if this was three and three, how many energy would I get, Maria? You would get three. You would get seven. Thank you. Oh, I was <laughs> thinking of mining. I would get so. <laughs> this is why we do this. But that yeah. would have been right for mining, it right? It would have been yes. right for mining. Nailed right. It. This is seven, because I would get three plus three plus one extra. Mm -hmm. And if I had another one, I would get three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Dang, right? kids. And that works on any of them. So if yeah. I decided to put them here, I would get three cards, not gotcha. just the two. All right. Cool. There are uh, additional buildings that you get that may uh, also utilize your workers. So, for example, if you had a power plant and it was already in your tableau, you could put a die and get that number of energy. The All power right. plant is better than the generator because you can put a five there. Yeah. and get five yeah. energy. You that can't put five on your on your yep. space here. Um, once all of your workers have been assigned to various jobs, as I do this correctly, uh, your turn is over and you wait for everybody else to finish because mm -hmm. remember this is done simultaneously. Yep. And once everybody is done, you discard down to 12 tokens. You may have any combination of metal and energy as mm -hmm. long as you have no more than 12 total and 10 cards in your all hand. Right. If you have more than 10, you discard down to 10. And then we begin again. Start all over. Sounds the good. The game ends when uh, one person has either 12 goods or 10 total buildings, not, I repeat, not 10 prestige worth of buildings. Okay. How do I get a, a, a ghost worker? A ghost worker? Some uh, buildings or abilities will give you an additional worker. So like if you had a contractor that was like give you an extra. So this one here says roll two extra workers at the start of the next work phase. So if I were to discard a shovel or a spade, not mm -hmm. a... Gavel. <laughs> not yeah. a gavel. Uh, and three additional energy. This one has like an additional cost. Not only would I get to roll my four dice, but I would get to two roll ghosts. two ghost workers. As well. uh, oh. Motion to call those ghosts of workers who died in my <laughs> Wow. Well, motion look denied. Look at, look. Yeah, <laughs> motion <Maria>. denied. <laughs> Straight up. 100% motion denied. How do you know that they didn't die in a research accident? All right, that's fair. What is a research accident? Paper cuts. You get yourself you, you, you get yourself shut in a filing cabinet. Ooh, gruesome. And then what happens? You tell me. <laughs> Time. Ask time, the, time. Ask the ghosts. <laughs> all right, so we're all starting with two energy, one metal, and four blueprint cards in our okay. hand. Okay. Cool. How do we play? Like, how do we play a card? <laughs> Yep. So, so we're, we're yeah, acquiring these question. into our hands. Yep. So during the work phase, you okay. may build a card. Sorry, you're right. I didn't. I yeah. didn't cover that. I should. Okay. Have. Um, building a card. The the requirements for building a card are in the so upper we left have corner. To pay these. Pay yep. That. So you would. Gotcha. So if I wanted to build this harvester, I would have to discard an additional card that has a mallet on it. Okay. And pay one metal and two energy, and then cool. I would add it to my tableau. Got it. Thank you for reminding me. That's a really good point. <laughs> Necessary. Uh, yes. You may build as many blueprints as you want during your turn as you have cards and resources for. However, you may never build the same building twice unless it specifically says that you can. So I can't make uh, it just only trash compactors is what you're telling me? Uh, 
the dream is dead. There it was. I lingered, and now it is destroyed. <sighs> All right. And what is this X equals X on like the trash compactor? So the trash compactor means that you have to put two workers, two dice that are the same value. Okay. And Got then it. you would discard two cards to make two goods. to make two goods. Okay. Dang. Yeah. Real good. All right. Very good. Well, let's so let's you go. You will team. begin. You will. Wow. So this is the market phase. So in turn order, starting with the first player, you may take either a contractor by discarding a card from your hand that matches the icon at the top, or you may simply grab a blueprint for Frizzle. Miss Frizzle. Miss Frizzle. Um, With the frizz? No way. And there's no like two of one thing? I can't ever trade in any of these things to be other things? Um, in the market phase, the only thing you can do with your resources is you can pay either an energy or a metal to wipe a row and start over. I'm just thinking of like additional costs and whatever. So um, the additional costs are on some of the uh, contractor cards. So what does this investor do here? That investor... Draw and reveal a blueprint card. Gain metal and energy equal to its build cost. Discard the card. Yep. So if I play this, this is just... If you were to discard a wrench yep, from your it just hand... Yeah, it is a one-time yep, deal. you would get it. This card would be revealed. You would gain whatever the build cost of it is. So if you reveal this card, you would get three metal. If you reveal this card, you get a metal and two energy. And this one would just be one metal? One metal, yeah. Lame. That's the deal. This electrician, mm -hmm. I gain five energy and somebody else gains two? Correct. Oh. <laughs> oh, all I see. clicking. I want to take this electrician, I okay, think. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to so discard a gear discard card. Discard a recycling plant because who it. needs that in this right. day and age? Nobody. <laughs> so then you get five energy. Okay. And you pick somebody else to get two energy. I'll pick M Megan to get two energy. Ooh, thank you. Because Nicholas has played this game before and I don't trust his abilities. What? One, two, three, four, so five. Much energy. Okay, and now I can take one of these cards. You may take a blueprint. Thing. Yep. Or now we have an architect. Okay. And that says. The architect says that you draw three blueprints and an opponent chooses one or All gets right. one as well. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I will discard. Yes. Well, will I? I I'll discard know. this to get this architect. All right. I'll draw three and Nicholas, you can draw. Ooh, rude! Ooh. I just gave you energy. Last I time know, I gave Megan energy. But you'll it'll come around. Yeah, I it'll better. It doesn't seem like it's gonna come around. Uh, this contractor, don't a you doctor, make trouble. <laughs> is a specialist. Doctor. <laughs> well, look at her. I mean, Gain not. an extra question mark of any value any time during the next work phase. I'm always gaining mm. question marks, you know. That means uh, one of our ghosts, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard this assembly line, which is a gear, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get the specialist. So I gain Ooh. an extra die of any value that I want during the next work phase. Fine. Oh, so it can just be like a one or a six. Yep. Wow. Whatever I want it to be. So now these are here. This, I can set that aside and do it. And now we've all taken a turn. Yep. So now we roll oh, our workers. Oh boy. Yeah. Let's get to work, little buddies. All right. Okay. So now I am going to, or Maria, you're going to go first since you're the first player in person. Okay. Now keep in mind, again, in a regular version of this game, we'd all just do this on our own. Yeah. Trusting that we're all obeying the rules of the game because okay. cheaters sure. are not fun. Yeah. So, Maria. <laughs> What? You have four workers. You, uh, you, <laughs> I'm going to play the tape back and make sure you actually rolled that one and three fives. I did. <laughs> you think I sat here and just turned up? I do. We have two cameras <laughs> on you. So, like, if you did. So much video evidence. A lot. We have a lot. Yeah. All right. So what do you what would you like to do? You tell me, Nicholas. Oh, well. <laughs> um, so you, your workers can either research, generate, or mine. Uh, you don't well, have I don't really want to generate anything. I have a lot right. of energy right now. And you now. also have like a lot of, so this would get you a lot of cards. metal. Or, or metal. Cards. Yep, they would also get you a lot of cards. But I guess metal is like, it specifically will get me metal because they're all fives, right? And then I can just get an extra card up here. You can do that. And remember, keep in mind, you can play, you don't have to play them all at the same time. So if you played this here, you could draw a card and oh, then be I like, see. oh, I want to build this card. So I'm going to build a card and then see what happens. Okay, next. let's try it. All right, so you get that. And keep in mind, you have a ton of energy yep. and a lot of metal. So you could play like a five and get one metal if you needed two and then play the card and to see what happens. To build something. Yep, and mm. each of the buildings can be activated only once per round. Mm -hmm. Right, you can't just continually charge up a, a particular building. Wow. Yeah? Wow, okay, so I'll do... 
I guess. You got yourself another another <laughs> I medal. I could take another medal. Um, and then can I build an aluminum factory? You can. So you have to discard a spade card. The mother load. Done. Oh, really? I don't know. There's like a spaceship, an upside down spaceship. Oh, really it takes two metal and two energy to build this. Yes. So discard those resources. Classic uh, aluminum factory mm -hmm. <laughs> cost. Yep. Okay. Um, and then I could immediately put them on the aluminum factory too, you right? You can, yes. Because these match, you can put them both on there and discard five energy, which you have. I do. To gain two goods. Wow. And... A metal. a metal. I dropped an energy on the floor. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, everyone, okay. continue. Here goes Am the I sound. Go, I go finish fish it out. It is your go, yes. So you're All gonna... right, I'm going to take... Wait, no, that's not... I meant to put it in here in the mic. Okay. So I take two metals. You do. Um, and then I'm going to build this battery factory. Ooh. A bat pack? Yeah. Which bat costs uh, one energy and two... And there, do you have a wrench card? Metal, yep. Okay. And this wrench card... You got it. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going mm -hmm. to generate two. Yep. And research one. Okay. And do you want to activate your bat fac? Oh wow. How do you activate yeah. just so pay just the like energy? you had to you activated yours by putting your dice on it. This one allows um, to just trade four energy Ten for a single to go. Good. Uh, yes. You got it. Cool. You got that good. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Now what do I want to do? Okay. Uh, I don't know what I want to do yet. So I'm going to build this solar array. I'm going to spend a gear, mm -hmm. this recycling plant, and then spend a metal and two energy. And now I gain two energy after I build a card, but it only happens once per round. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I need Got some it. cards. So I'm going to put two there. Get this card. Uh huh. Uh huh. This feels good. Uh, I'm going to take another card. So I get, now I get a card for placing the die. And because they match, I will get another card. Ooh, here we go. Beautiful. Ooh. Uh, ooh, ooh, tasty. Uh, I want three energy. One, two, three. Don't want that. And I want a metal. So you've played your solar array. Yeah, I played my solar array, and okay. then uh, I am also going to build a temp agency <gasps> for no prestige. Uh, wait, am I? Wait, no. What an Sorry, I'm building a robot <gasps> for the temp agency. How on earth could the robot not have prestige? I am spending a metal and an energy, and I'm getting two. More energy Cause back because I built a card. Oh, I see your engine. I'm building an engine because that's what I do. But you have no prestige. And now I'm done. Yeah, I have okay. no prestige. So at the end of round one, now we are finished, uh, okay. you have three points. Remember the movie The Prestige? I do. <laughs> and it came out at the same time as an exact, uh, the exact same the, movie. Um, what was, uh, the, uh, the, the Illusionist? Yeah, The yes. Illusionist. Yes. That's right. And literally nobody to this day can distinguish between the two do films. Do you know what? I can tell you for certain that I've only seen one and not the other, <laughs> but I don't know which one is the one that uh, I saw. Who was in the one that you saw? <laughs> That's was, a, it, I, was either Edward Norton or um, I don't know. Uh, Hugh Jackman. I think <laughs> I, I don't know. Think I saw the Hugh Jackman one. So that's the Prestige. Nobody can know for I sure. I think I saw the Prestige. Yeah. yeah. But it's impossible to say. <laughs> I saw both, and I'm gonna say it right now. I prefer The Illusionist. I'm gonna, I saw right, both, and okay. I'll tell you that I um, they were just like two movies blended together. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I can't tell you when, where one started and one un ended, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now that we've gotten that out of our system. I just had to, sorry. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, two points, three points, and no points. So. But an engine. Yeah, but I've got an engine building, so we're doing stuff. I want a robot. <laughs> Can't have a robot. Is so All right, jelly. so now we're going to pass the first player marker oh. to Megan. And Megan, you are going to start with the market phase. Oh, okay. uh, also, this oh, is technically right. when we discard and remove all of our uh, but resources. Nobody but has nobody has enough things. Enough, right. These are not mine. Oh. FYI. Why are they there? I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, Megahon. Yeah, uh, I'm going to discard this dojo to acquire this investor. Yeah, so Classic you will business draw move. and reveal yeah. 
the top card of the blueprint deck, and you will gain resources equal to its cost. One no. metal. <laughs> and then All we right. just and then this card is discarded. So we do that, and then this goes away, and we get a new one, which There's is not very many. an engineer. Contractors <gasps> for hire. Draw and reveal a, a, a blueprint. Blue card. Immediately build, build it for free. free. Holy and cow! You, you need four energy to do I this. I don't have the. I don't have a gear blueprint to build no! it. No. Um, okay. 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 Um, I'm gonna spend this, and I'm gonna clear these. Because you don't want anyone else to get it. Correct. I hope this Rude. backfires. And we'll do this. Oh, a foreman. Oh, wow. All right. OK, OK, OK. I still want the gear one, but I can't have it now. Um, uh, I am going to take the trash compactor. <gasps> You're taking right. every card I want, Nicholas. Sorry. So, um, how do I acquire a plan? Just by discarding? Yep, you just grab a, no, you just grab a blueprint. If you want a blueprint that's showing, you can just take it. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna take a power plant. You got that one. All right, now we are all, I'm gonna put this die back since I don't, I don't get that again. Uh, now we're all gonna do this. Again. Gonna are do you gonna text. watch me roll this time, I Nicholas? am, yes, I'm very steady. Very I hope I roll the same no, thing. you didn't. Okay. okay. Ooh! I got some weird dice here. All right. Let's see. We'll do one more round of us uh, doing this. All at the same time? All, uh, not at the same time, like next. Oh, right. next That's all I can do. Wait, I'm going to do it in order, though. Oh, you're not first. Oh. First, I uh, thought this was all the same. Cool. I mean, it technically, okay. it oh, okay, remember, okay, the, okay. the rule is technically supposed okay, to be For the sake of our viewers. Hi. Hi. We'll make sure that we're doing this so that people can tell what on earth is going on. OK. All right. Uh, How do you feel? Poorly. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Here are your okay, workers. I know, I know. Right. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build this incinerator. Oh, these my. Creepy. <laughs> two so what is your office park currently? An incinerator and, and a battery factory? <laughs> battery factory. That's so it's a, a spooky place. The bad yeah. batteries get, yeah. get in the Just fire. Just burn them up. Yeah. Oh, yep. Also, I, turn, I, I did that. That was my battery. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Normally, um, you'd have a discard pile as well, but yeah. for the sake of space. Yep. All right. All right, and so then now, I'm going to get resourceless. I have no resources, as no they resources. say. Resources. Um, I'm gonna get. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Two medals. Yeah, I'm gonna get two medals. You got them. Um, I'm going to get. Mm hmm. Uh, three. Energies. One, two. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh wait, can I, whoops, Warp. sorry. Can I go back, I'm gonna have done this. Okay. Because that seems like yep, the smarter it's the same. It's move. The same thing. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get, this means I get six cards. Nope. No, it it's just one. Just yep. one. Oh, All that's one. right, it's no matter what you yep. get. Yeah. No matter what the value of the die oh, is. Oh, rough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Megan <laughs> wants six cards. <laughs> I do want six cards. I always want six cards. Yeah, that's fair. And then yeah. I am going to, um, yeah. I'm going to discard a blueprint and a metal for six energy. Okay. Yeah, I got so it. I got blueprint, yep. <gasps> the metal. Obelisk. One, two, three, Ooh. four, five, six. How many more robots do you think are in? And then I'm going to spend. There are three. You can tell on the bottom. And then I'm going to spend four energy for a good. Okay. Got it? All right, and I'm done. You're finished? I'm finished. All right, I'm going to spend my two sixes to get three metal. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I'm going to spend this three to get three energy. One, two, three. I am then going to discard this trash compactor in order to build a beacon. Oh, it's Liberty's oh. hand. So the beacon is a card that you may build more than one of, and you get more victory points. Oh, cool. Or oh. more prestige the more you build. So this is two and four energy, but I'm going to get two back after I build a card. So here's two and four two back. I've used that. And we're going to do that and that. And I have one. Can you build more th than one thing a turn? You may. Yep. You just can't build the same card name. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to build. I'm going to take a card. Ye. All right. Okay. Over here, I'm going to head to the salt mines. Wait, what? Wait, first I'm going to draw a card. Sure. 
and let's find out what it could be. What it, what could it oh, be? Oh, interesting. Let's draw uh, two more cards. Sure. Right. Yep. One for the second die there. and one for the match. Oh, lovely. Um, then we're going to head to the mine because I can't put these in the generator. Sure. So two more metals. Two metals. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to build something. What? Great question. Thanks. <laughs> I want to build my power plant. Okay. And I'm going to discard. What do I want to discard? Um, something with a gear on it. Um, how about this foundry? Yeah, who needs that? I don't, certainly. And three metal, which you there have. There you go. Look at me go. Look at you go. <laughs> and what does the power plant do? You can trade in a die. Oh, it's, uh, yep, die for energy. Die for energy. Die for that much energy. Cool? Yeah. Everybody good? Uh, Nobody has more energy. than 10 cards or 12 <laughs> nope. resources? I have nope. zero. Oh. There you go. I am killing it. You are killing it. All right, my turn. I am going to start, and I want... Uh, I'm going to discard this harvester, and I'm going to get this specialist. Mm. So I'm going to gain an extra die of any value at any time during the next work phase. Oh. Oh. So I'll take that. Put it there. Schmear. And bam. Investor. It's a good card. We've seen a lot of investors in this yeah, game so have. far. They have. I can't do that. Yeah, we have. So who cares? Okay, um, I'm finished. Uh, hired hands, I get two dealios, but I need some energy. You gotta spend three energy, you can't get there. Specialist, investor, I get a card and I gain some metal. Who cares? Wow, somebody cares. Let's hmm. get a specialist as well. Sure, you got it, here's a die. A ghost worker. Ghost worker, frozen in carbonite. Uh -huh. and this goes, and then you get, ta-da, an Ooh, architect. architect. I think I'm going to take this harvester. You got it. All right. And a warehouse shows up. Okay, now we roll. Oh boy, my favorite part. And Ooh, four, six, six, three. I have a lot of threes. I have not rolled two of the same number yet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. How does that feel? All I want is a bonus. <laughs> All right, let's get some die. I'm going to get some cards. Um, I'm right. going to definitely take one card. Are we still doing this one at a time? Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to take another card. I'm going to take two more cards. I'll be patient. Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't need any either. sass from you. All right, now I have a goal. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a medal. And then I want to build this nuclear plant. What? I want a nuclear plant. <laughs> Take all my stuff. Rude. Discarding a wrench card to build a nuclear plant uh -huh. uh, for two metal and two energy. But I will get two energy back from my solar array. Hmm. And then I'm going to make this a six and put it here and gain a good and an energy. Oh, I didn't have to roll my ghost? You don't have to, no. It can be whatever you want it to be. Okay. Uh, that particular one, you that, don't have to roll. Right. Um, and then for this last die, I will simply draw another card. Okay. You're up, Bartoli. Uh, e. <laughs> so, what's happening over here? Great question. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I didn't ask it, but cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna, should I make this my ghost and put it on six and get six energy? So, no, oh, you can do that, yeah, if you need six energy, but keep in mind, this die can be anything you want it to be. So if you're gonna draw cards or you're gonna do anything else, you may wanna save it for the end, unless you like have to have six energy. Well, I need to have five energy, well, certainly. Well, then that's perfect. <laughs> because I wanna do this over here with these two threes to make myself some more goods. So here's five energy for this. Yep. And now you have this, you're gonna get rid of that five yep. energy. Goes right back away. <laughs> Two more goods. Two more goods and then a and a metal. Metal. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So now you have a now two a and two a whatever. And a, maybe another two. Yeah, right? It See? could be. That's how you do that. It really could be. Mm -hmm. um, do I want more energy? That seems fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do I want more cards? Mm, yeah. Cards are, you gotta keep in mind, the cards are like where you want it to be. Like the cards feed the wolf. 
But what if I need energy, oh. though? I mean, you will need energy, but you don't know what you need the energy for until you have the cards. Lame. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to get energy. <laughs> okay, cool. One, two. Uh, so I get a five? Three, four. Yep. Okay. Five. There you go. So now you're set Great. up to do your power plant next turn. Or your aluminum factory next turn. We're All making right. so much aluminum over here. Mm. I'm going to draw two cards. Okay. One aluminium. card. Uh, what is this trash okay. factory doing? I don't know. All right, cool. And then this one. Okay. I used them all of my factories this turn. Good job. I did it. Oh, this is interesting. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about your choices? Oh, great, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then I am going to build this harvester. Sure. Discard a mallet. Yep, discard a mallet. Got it. And then this and two energy. Mm -hmm. Um. And then I'm going to use my, oh, wait, no, I did that. Wait, no, I can still do this. Just like, wait a second. Yeah, take a metal, two metal, two yeah. metal. Take two metal. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to use, hmm. Oh, I see what you're gonna do, I think. Uh, wait a second, what about the question marks? Why does it? I'm going to use a so card. A, a circle or a square with a question mark just means a worker. Like card a and oh, metal okay. to get six energy. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then and discard then spend four of it. Four of it. Yeah. One, two, engine. Three. This is the engine. Yeah. It's building. It's building. All right. And um, that's my turn. All right. So that is a full round wow. of fantastic factories. Great. Yeah. How do we feel? I am enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. classic engine building. Yep. Yes. Yes. Um, so the things that I really enjoy um, are the limited resources. Yeah. And by that, I don't mean like how many tokens you have, but like it is only metal and it is only energy. There's yeah. not like six yeah, different things that point. I got to keep track of. Yep. Um, it's just those two things that feed. So like it's very streamlined. Mm -hmm. I love the one shot abilities of the contractors. And this like random token assignment thing like could yeah. go any way you want it to. It doesn't really matter. Um, but like the abilities of the contractors feel relevant enough. Yeah. But not particularly cutthroat. Yeah. Which no. is something that I like, right? Like even the really good cards, the ones that give you like three cards, like you have Someone to give something to somebody else, right? Yeah. And it, there's never like, I'm going to steal all of your stuff and so now you can't do what you were planning on doing. Yeah. Right? Like it's friendly but not cooperative. Yeah. And I like too the restriction of the headquarters. Like there's literally only three options mm -hmm. over yes. here. Yep. <laughs> so you're not going to get completely overwhelmed. And mm -hmm. there was restrictions on where you can put your die. So you can't just be like, oh, should I use my two fives in this top? Or, uh, you know, like literally, yeah. it's like you have to put them here or like up there. Like you mm -hmm. can't spend forever thinking about your options because they're, they're pretty narrow. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think that my, like my only hang up right now is that like all of these, diff there's so much different so many different like little equations at the bottom mm -hmm. that sometimes and I feel like once you've played the game a couple of times this wouldn't be a thing yep. but where like I was looking at the bottom of the card and I'm like I can't parse this quickly enough to make a good decision I'm sure. just like okay two cards and two energy equals a good and a card Right, but see what you just did, like you literally just had to look at it and just exactly. kind of pace through it. It's it. I will. I grant you that like you can't just look at it and be like, oh yeah, I absolutely know what that is. Exactly. But like you do have to read it. You have to, like, and it's two taking dice a while for me to be like, okay, what is the actual value that I'm getting out of this card? Yes. Takes me a little bit more time. Yep. Um, that being said, like I, I'm so far very much enjoying this. Yes. I'm having a oh, good absolutely. time playing. Absolutely. I love <laughs> the little holes here for the dice. Too. Yeah, the yeah. components are all People really good. Will not do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the card quality could be higher. Okay. Uh, but but that being said, this headquarters thing is really really nice with the raised area, so your dice can't get knocked out of it. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And I actually don't mind the thickness of these cards. They feel they feel decent to me. Yeah. They don't feel They're particularly sturdy. flimsy, but you know, to each their own. <laughs> I just want them to be like, you know what? I I'm thinking of my favorite engine builder, yeah. which is Wingspan. Sure. And the but the I think those the, are very the, nice. The, it's the finish on the wing. It's on the wings finish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. These are uh, more glossy. Than the um, linen finish. Yeah, of that's the, what of I'm thinking of. Cards. Yep, yeah, for sure. I enjoy it. I like, I like how bright it is. Yeah, there this are robots. Really cute. The robot, yeah. the art is fantastic. Like it has, like it's definitely stylized in like sort of a like an instruction book. Yeah. Kind, or like a what's the word I'm looking for? Like a manual. Like a manual. Yeah. yeah, like a manual kind of way. There are a lot 
of these blueprint cards. I like that yeah. too. Right, and so there are, there are lots of different options for for building that engine. Like you said, there is definitely a thing where you have to play a game before you sort of realize what the possibilities yeah, are. Yeah, I feel like at the beginning of this, I'm like, okay, I can see what you're doing. I haven't quite parsed what I'm doing yet because mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with all of my options. Yes. But I also feel like I'm getting the hang of it at an okay speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't feel way Agreed. behind. Yeah. Um, and then the scarcity of the cards is another thing that, that I really enjoy about this particular game. So like the first game that I got, I saw Beacon. And Beacon is worth two prestige if you just build one of them. Mm -hmm. But like is worth 14 total if you find wow. all four. Oh. But there's only four in the deck. Yeah. So you got to find them all. And all as soon as yeah. I drop my first beacon, like b every other player at the table is like, okay. I'm not going to let them. Or like yeah. as soon you as they show up, I'm him. burying them. Yeah. I mean, this even being two is pretty dang good, right? We yeah. only have I mean, seen it costs, ones here. It costs here. four energy and two metal, which is like. it doesn't give you any abilities. Right. It's like not it's helping your engine points. at all. It's just points. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the I think the balance is definitely somebody paid attention, which is important for game design, uh, <laughs> to like the strength of the cards and like yeah. it's all very well tested. There isn't a particular strategy in the games that I've played that has been like you absolutely have to go for this. And, like in Machi Koro, like if you get all the ranch cards, yeah. you win the game. Yeah. Like there's not that there isn't that feel to it. And by yeah. the way, now that I'm saying that, like Machi Koro is like a similar aesthetic. Kind of does like uh -huh. a similar visual to it. But yeah, uh, final thoughts about Fantastic Factories? I am I would absolutely play this again. Very Give good. me that thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. Definitely so enjoying it. Let's finish this game. Uh, yeah. But for the rest of you, uh, you can get uh, Fantastic Factories for yourself uh, at your friendly local game short store. Please do keep in mind that Shore it store. is uh, published by Deepwater Games, uh, so you'll want to ask for that by name. Fantastic Factories does everything you want in an engine builder, manages to bring along dice to the party in a meaningful and less random way than other titles, and does all of that with a catchy theme and adorable art. Let's go through my checklist before I give you my final thoughts. In the box, rulebook clear and non-gender pronouns. Fantastic Factories rulebook is bright, clear, and one of the better laid out books I've seen of late. Using lots of clear illustrations, it guides you through the whole game easily and even has a section in the back for common mistakes and tips and strategies excellent for new players. The rulebook adopts the second person you throughout, abandoning gender pronouns entirely. Iconography clear. An engine building game such as this one lives or dies on the iconography, and this title succeeds wildly here. With only a few symbols to keep track of, each of the game's cards has very clear instructions as to what each function is. Even brand new players to the genre should be able to suss out very quickly what's happening here. Packaging well done. The insert is top notch, giving everything a place. Of note here is that while the insert's card holders are tall and wide enough to support sleeved cards, they're not deep enough. Everything just perfectly fits in the box on sleeves, so you may have to make some tough decisions if you want to sleeve this game. Also, any decent sized expansion isn't going to fit here, but I may be getting ahead of myself a little bit. On the table, good representation. Each of the game's contractor cards have both a masculine and feminine copy, which is great. Component quality, very nice. The game's player boards are very thick cardboard with great dice insets, the cards and tokens have proper weight to them, and the game's dice are standard sized, but wonderfully colored. Replay value, high. Engine builders inherently have a higher replay value as you try to sort out the different combinations available, but can fall off once the game is solved, for lack of a better term. Factories hasn't run into this issue in the four or so games I played for this review, and a lot of that is due to the variety of options present. Fun to lose. Here's where I think this game misses a tiny step. While the game only runs just shy of an hour, it's possible to fall behind early or have your strategy fall apart before it can even get going. While it's feasible that you can pivot fast enough to come back, it's not easy to do and requires some help from your dice. I'll say this though, the actual gameplay is fun enough that you might not mind lagging behind a bit, especially if you can find an alternate strategy early. Fantastic Factories does so many things right that it's hard to find any truly glaring issues. The usual suspects will be scapegoated though, dice are random, hard to find the cards you need, etc. While all of these are strictly true, I don't believe they hinder the game as a whole. There's plenty of mitigation for the dice, and there's no shortage of available combinations to find. Overall, the elegance of the core mechanics combined with the delightful art and theme go a long way towards making this a great game to bring to your table. I'm Nicholas, reminding you to help protect the game population. Always leave your cards. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, please hit that sub button and check out all of our other offerings at goodluckhighfive.com. And please consider becoming a patron of the channel at patreon.com slash glhfmagic and help us keep making reviews, videos, and podcasts for as little as $5 a month. We're also always looking for new games to review, so if you make games or you know a company who does and wants to have their game reviewed on Good Luck High Five, please reach out to us at glhf at goodluckhighfive.com and we'd be happy to take a look. You can follow me, Captain N, the Game Master, on Twitter and Instagram at CaptainNGM, and follow the channel at GLHF Magic. Remember, please shop at your local game store whenever possible. Until next time, I'm Nicholas, and good luck, high five.